Hey everybody, the following is an excerpt from the monthly Rotto Roundup, and if you'd like to see the rest of the Roundup, you can hit that eye up in the top right corner of the screen, or if you'd like to know more about the game, you can follow the link down in the show notes. And without the way, let's talk about The Adventurer from Crafting Kingdoms. This is actually on GameFound right now, and they're sponsoring the show. It's called The Adventurer, and I, it, this is a big boy. Uh, you can barely even see it um, I, on screen, even if I give myself. Uh, th this has a lot of really cool features. It's crowdfunding right now, and it's so big, to show it off, I had to set up a new camera angle I've never used before. Let me go to this overhead view, and look at this thing! So. There are several really cool features uh, about this. Um, one of them is the flexibility and the variety you have, because um, it comes with three different sets of straps. Backpack style straps, um, over the shoulder straps, you see one on front, and we've also got a pair of handle straps. And the reason there are all these straps is because they're not pre... Um, attached, you can snap them on however you want. You can have the shoulder strap go, uh, you know, across or from one side to the other. I could actually take this shoulder strap off. You know, this is kind of like a standard way you uh, sling it over your shoulder, right? I could just go on ahead and unsnap it down here and put it over here on the back. And now... I've got one that it hangs um, lengthwise like that, in case you don't want your boxes to shift. Um, and not only does it have all this flexibility, you don't care about over-the-shoulder straps? Hey, you can just turn it into a backpack, because it's got all these on the back. So there's lots of different ways you can set it up. And uh, other cool features about it, I real for people who love to take their mats, I mean, I've got practically a game convention's worth of games in here, which I'll show you in a second, but, you know, the mats aren't going to fit, but the, it comes with these cool little uh, things that you can put, your roll up your mats, put them in, and then cinch it down, and you've got your player mats that you can carry around with you everywhere, too. So that's a really nice touch. Let me go on ahead and open it up. And, oh my gosh, there's so much stuff in here. Let's see here. Where's the zipper? Uh, it's waterproof. Uh, materials, so you don't have to worry about going out in the rain. And hey, I'm the life of the party with Monolith and Terra Nova and Ortalum and Sumatra and a whole bunch of other games. But hey, it's not just these seven big full-size games that I've got. There are um, games inside the front. I've got... Oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> L room for little tiny games. Farm Fuss. And, uh, um, let's see. Oh, I'm really actually excited to play this one. The latest from Shady Torbay, Stellarium. That's actually a medium-sized little box fitting in just these side pockets. And how about some Zombie Crisis? I'm not done yet. I brought even more games to the party, Ruel. Coming into the side things. <laughs> hey, Memory of Embers. And more, more, more. Do you wow. feel like some um, sunset over water? That's a nice little one. You got room for big ones and little ones. Hey, how about Marvel Remix? Or if you prefer Star Trek, Star Trek Missions. There's still more, well, that I'm bringing to game night. Oh my gosh. This box is, never ends. Hey, here's uh, Star Trek Pinball. If you don't feel like a Star Trek card game. Shapers of Gaia. All of this stuff. And wow. um, the, because this is so flexible, the way that you can um, mix and match how you want the straps to go, it just gives you a... Uh, it, it, it makes it as comfortable as possible for you to carry it in whatever way works best for you. If you want to sling it over your back, you want to sling it over your shoulder, you want to just carry it on the side like an attaché case, you can do it because of all the flexibility of how you can put all of your different... Um, straps on. And it came, comes with all these straps. Really cool ideas. I've wow. never really seen anything quite like it. The adventure. Phew. That is so neat. And yeah, that is Rotocon in a bag right Yeah, that definitely, definitely, you know? <laughs> wow. But that's not all. The little pockets. Oh, it's so cool. That is not all because uh, Crafting Kingdom, in addition to uh, fundraise to do the adventurer bag, which, by the way, folks, one lucky viewer of this show can win. We'll tell you about that in a second, how to enter to win. Let's go back to the overhead view. I talked about how, hey, that's really nice that you can um, carry your mats around, uh, right? Uh, you know, on that little side thing. They're also uh, putting out a new line of full table mats you can use. And it comes in, was it, six different colors, eight different sizes. Uh, it's really, really nice quality. A very, um, you know, tight mesh uh, fiber. I, I'm scratching with my fingernail. I'm not seeing any kind of scuffing on it. That's really nice. But... I'm bearing the leads. The, I have never seen a board game mat do this ever. Are you ready, Ruel? I am ready. Boop. LED strip. 
Oh wow. yeah, this is so <laughs> cool. I forget how many different colors you can just tap and cycle through. Green and blue and purples and reds and um, you know, orange. And I think there's a gold in here. Cool. Um, so you got all these different ones you can go with. You are, uh, Or you can go with, like this is one where it's just like fading up and fading down between the different colors. Okay, there goes the green, here comes the blue. Or you can do more of a Christmas tree type thing where uh, it's just like, oh, yo, know, the, the, the colors are just racing around. Um, and there's a slower version of that too, where they're racing around a bit more slowly. And then there's the one where, okay, they're just moving around really slow, which I think is my favorite. But then there's another option as well, which is, oh, no, we're back. We're back to the game. I think there were three or four different uh, animated ways you can go. But yeah, you can just set this to any color you want. It is so cool. Um, let's it. go for the, the Tron color. Let's get out your light cycles, obviously. Hey, Alexa, <laughs> turn the lights off. And here we go, um, with just a few little spotlights. I mean, obviously it's not enough to light up an entire board in a pitch back room like what I've got here, but this is <laughs> so much fun. I really, I, I mean, uh, it was mostly the bag. They said, hey, well, we'll send you out a bag so you can, um, when we sponsor the show, you can show it to people and whatnot. That's really cool. Oh, you have game mats too? Okay, that's kind of nice. I didn't even know about this LED thing, but it's just <laughs> about the coolest thing I have ever seen. Um, I've just, you know, when I'm done filming for the day, I just leave this on. On, um, you know, yeah. and when we're walking around in the kitchen, we can say, "Oh, look at all the bright colors in the room and stuff like that." So neat, Alexa, lights I love on. It. There we go. I um, love it. That's yeah. so cool. Very, very so cool. Neat. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. Yeah, something I've never seen as well. That, that's the first time we've seen LED and a, a built into a play mat. That's brilliant. Yeah, such a such a clever idea. And thanks for watching, folks. If you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe. It makes a huge difference, believe me. But with that out of the way, if you'd like to see some more, over on the left, you can find a playlist of a whole bunch more Rotto Rapid reviews. Up in the top right, there's the latest thing that's been added to the channel. And in the bottom right, you've got something YouTube recommends. Okay, folks, thanks for watching.